us a little bit about health and safety because it's huge in your in your job and you've been you've had a big call on it in recent crises at Canterbury and then even recently here in Wellington how do you keep your people safe and not just in the narrow technical legal sense but more broadly yeah health and safety is um, a tough one to get on top first because everybody in the office thinks it's just a field thing yeah. um, I am pretty passionate about health and safety um, but even if I wasn't, from a business point of view, it's a wonderful enabler because you get everybody working together on health and safety, all your policy, all your procedures tighten up. Um, but what you can't do when you've got a field force is try and start out in the field. We started in Transpower and actually sort of 400 people in Wellington, 500, we thought if we can get them across the line, then we'll start working on the field. And it took two or three years, a lot of sort of training. It started with, you know, don't, don't take the hot cup of coffee down the stairs. Well, that's nonsense. You know, so they're going to burn their arm. We're worried about more serious things than that. Um, so we worked with them and worked with them. And we, after about, because they're smart and they see it, um, they got it. And so now we have a really powerful tool to go into the field. And we're getting there. Um, still learning on it, but at least everybody believes in it. We have two things. One, we ban any use of cell phones in cars. No hands-free kit or anything. Mm -hmm. Science will tell you. Mm -hmm. It's just a stupid thing to do. Mm -hmm. And we j I think our people would just do it even when they're um, driving privately. So that's taken a while, but they're smart and they see the science. Um, we have a random drug and alcohol testing policy. It applies to me or an accountant or anybody. And that was probably on the edge of the, what people thought was the law. But they get it. They don't mind. The guy in the field gets tested, so it's only fair we get tested. Um, the other thing that's happening is we're getting a lot of young people. And the 20-year-olds, boy, do they get it quickly. Um, women and men, women a bit quicker than men. But they actually value their skin a bit more than we old folk. So they just... Um, so of course, I'm, I don't want to go and put myself in some asbestos or get fried on a 220,000 line. You know, I value my life much better than that. So there are a huge change coming to New Zealand. But, you know, you've got to do about twice as much work with them as you think at the start. But once you get them over the top of the hill, it all just takes off.